Hello stampers and crafters. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah McGuire from Sassy Paper Crafts. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today's project is this one. So at first glance, this card might just look like an ordinary card with a tree on it, but when you open it up, you get a fun surprise. So this is an accordion fold, and I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to make this card using the decorative trees bundle from Stampin' Up! So if you wanna see how to make this card, please keep watching. The start are super cute, fun fold. Again, this is an accordion fold. We're going to be using the Decorative Trees Bundle from Stampin' Up. This is in the September to December mini catalog. It includes a photopolymer uh, stamp set, the Decorative Trees stamp set, 14 photopolymer stamps, and the Decorative Trees dies, which have so many beautiful, intricate dies. I need this one too. I have the dies we're going to be using. <laughs> today um, set aside just because there's quite a few of them. I didn't want to get them mixed up, but these dies are absolutely gorgeous. First, we're going to be doing a little bit of stamping. I already have my dies set out. My dies, my stamp set out. I have the big tree there. We're going to be using those ornaments, the stars for a little bit of a background, and then two of the sentiments, Oh Christmas Tree and Season's Greetings. I'm going to need a scrap piece of basic white, and then three ink colors, Fresh Freesia, Coastal Cabana, and Bubble Bath. I went for a little bit of a non-traditional color for this card. I've actually been seeing this a lot at craft stores, like gumdrop themes and stuff. It really inspired me to use these colors. So let's start with the Coastal Cabana. I'm gonna open that up and let's ink up our Christmas tree here. And we're gonna stamp this onto our scrap piece of paper. Kinda wanted to go up a little bit. I think that might be a little too low. So I'm gonna flip it over. Paper has two sides. If you mess up, can always flip that paper over. I'm going to go up a little higher because I'll show you why. Our die is this beautiful tree die. It has a little trunk on it. And if I went too low, the other one might have worked. Nope. If I went too low and I kind of cut that off. So I'm going to use that side. And then while I still have the coastal cabana out, I'm going to grab my. Um, piece for the inside here and all the measurements are on my blog sassypapercrafts.com this is one of our pieces for the inside I'm going to grab that old Christmas tree and just stamp that right in the middle and then our inside inside piece and season's greetings you can use whatever um, greeting sentiments that you want to use I use those two so that's it for the Coastal Cabana. Now let's grab the bubble bath and the stars. And I'm just gonna put a couple along the top and bottom. That's our inside piece. And then I'm gonna grab our scrap piece again and get the ornaments. Actually, I did those in Fresh Freesia, so I'm gonna clean that off really quick. We did that in Fresh Freesia. Still need our stars though for our old Christmas tree panel. And this one I just kind of went right up to them and see I'm getting some of the stars aren't stamping. That's okay. Just go right over them. Nobody knows that but us. There, so that should be it for the bubble bath. Now I'll get my fresh freesia. And we're just stamping the ornaments. And the only reason I did fresh freesia for the ornaments is just because they stood out more and then I pushed too hard on that. My fresh freesia is a little bit too juicy. I have a scrap piece here. What I like to do when it's like that and the reason I say it's too juicy, as you can see, it's just kind of like that's not a good, crisp, clean image. So 
So what I like to do is just soak up a little bit of that um, ink with a scrap piece of basic white. So I'm going to clean my stamp off again. And then I'm just going to go right to where I cleaned it off and ink that up. And again, I'm not going to push too hard. That image is much better than the first image. Show you again, even. Like how much better. And if I go into that really super inky part, like it's just, ugh. so that's the one I want right there. Done with the fresh freesia. So now I can clean off my stamps and then we're going to do a little bit of die cutting. So I'm going to use the tree there. I'm going to get the ornaments out of that one. I have a, somewhere in my life, a piece of silver foil and we're going to do some garland. So there's some, these cool little garland um, dies that come in the die set four of them. I'm going to use all four. I have an adhesive sheet here. And what that is, it's just a sheet of adhesive uh, glue. You peel the backing off, flip this over, and I've cut it to be just about the size of the foil sheet. Oops, I got a little bit on the front there. I think that'll be okay though. These are pretty small. So what I'm going to do is layer these. That's the, I want the biggest one on the bottom. I'm just going to layer these and then run it through my Stampin' Cut and Boss machine. And you could use the mini for these dies. They all fit in the mini. Um, and then when I take them out, we're going to have a nice little sticker. So I'm going to do a little bit of die cutting and clean up my stamps and then I will show you how to put this card together. All right, all our die cut pieces or die cut, stamp, die cut, everything's put away. I'm going to show you a little trick I like to do with these smaller pieces. So these are the ornaments we stamped. I've die cut them out. I'm just putting them onto these glue dots. Now the reason for this is because I'm going to be putting these on almost last and I really, I don't want to lose them. So I put them on there and then I just set that to the side so that way they're all together. So now we have our card base that we need to fold. Again, all the measurements for this are on my blog. If you click the link in the description of this video, it will take you right to this blog post, blog post <laughs> so you don't have to do any searching or anything. So again, this is an accordion fold. So you're going to fold it just like an accordion. Now what I like to do is for each fold, I like to burnish that edge just so it's, a, it's crisper. So one, two, three, and four. Now this is a super easy fold, especially for beginners. If you're just getting into doing fun folds, this one, super easy and you don't need a ton of stuff. So I have some designer series paper here. This is Fresh Freesia and Coastal Cabana. So the Fresh Freesia comes from the Subtles pack designer series paper and the Coastal Cabana come from the Brights. I'm going to be using both the lines and the circles, starting with the Fresh Freesia. These would be a great addition to a Stampin' Up! Starter Kit. There's only a few days left for the Stampin' Up! Starter Kit where you can get $155 worth of product for just $99. So if your wish list is over $100, I definitely would get in on the Starter Kit special. It ends on Thursday, October 31st. The link for that is also in the description of this video. These are great packs to add to a starter kit. And then I also like how Stampin' Up! has like the um, color assortments for the cardstock in a pack. So you could get a pack of subtle, you could get a pack of bright, and then the designer series paper to go with it. And you could completely make this card and have a ton of supplies left over to make this card again and again, or make different cards. And there's our inside piece. And now for our outside, or 
I don't know, it's not really the outside, but our other panel, this is bubble, no, fresh freezer or bubble bath. It's one of them. I'm pretty sure it's bubble bath, actually. And I'm just going to put our, oh, we didn't stamp our part here. So for our tree, I did stamp some stars on here. You can emboss this. You can do however you like. I didn't stamp it, but I do have everything still kind of handy. So let's stamp that really quick. And then the bubble bath. And for this one, I wasn't quite as precise. I kind of went all over the place just because the tree is going to cover it. So I just kind of went at a diagonal up and around. And there. That was pretty quick. So then before we put our tree down, let's get our garland here. So these are still kind of stuck in the um, silver foil. Let me grab the biggest one first. There, that came up. I'm just putting them, the dies away as I use them because I don't want to lose the die. So this is our largest one. My take your pick tool is here with the paper piercer and I'm just going to peel off that adhesive sheet backing. Now if you have nails, I have nails but I have a lot hard time with this. It's a lot easier for me to use the take your pick tool. I'm going to put that largest one at the bottom like that and then here's the second largest which it looks like the largest but maybe it was maybe this was see if i can peel i can still peel that off but the largest one at the bottom Or these are just humongous. <laughs> Get rid of the die so I don't lose it. This for sure is the second smallest because it's still in the die. And if it gets stuck, you can just poke in those little holes and it should pop right out. Fill that backing off. And if you find it's super long, it's too long for you, you could always cut it. Um, oh, there's nothing in there anymore. You can always cut it with your scissors or paper snips. Do one more here. And I just peeled the whole thing off. It didn't, apparently that didn't have backing on it. So we're going to have to improvise with a little bit of liquid glue. And I mean the littlest bit. And so I think what happened was, is I put that smallest die on a part of the silver foil that didn't have an adhesive sheet. So when I peeled the backing off, I just peeled the paper. <laughs> that kind of made it thinner. But we fixed it. I used a little bit of um, liquid glue. Now we're going to put just two dimensionals on the back. Peel those off. And we can set our tree kind of right in the middle. And then add a little bit of seal. So the way our um, little panel here is going to go is it's going to go this way. So it's going to cover up that season's greetings and all of that. So we're going to put this part on our outside. You could put the old Christmas tree on the outside however you wanted to do it. And this, we're just going to flip that right over is going to go and be our inside. So then what I did, is I covered that up, opened it. I'm just going to put a little bit of seal there 
and a little bit there. And then we're going to close the card. And then you get your fun fold. And now to finish the card, I have some of the adhesive back sparkle gems. We're just going to use a few of these and kind of pop them randomly all around. And that is our card. So I'll bring back in. Oh, I forgot the ornaments. <laughs> that's not our card. We have to put our ornaments on. Then that's it. So for the ornaments, I just kind of randomly, wherever the take your pick tool wanted to place them. Go there. And then and these are again are easier to peel off with the take your pick tool. That is our card. So I hope you enjoyed this video. There are a few days left to use October's host code to get some goodies from me this month with a hundred dollar order. I am giving away a pack of the, what are they called? Gold textured dots. Um, but if you're going to spend a hundred dollars, you might as well spend 99 plus tax and get the Stampin' Up! starter kit. It really is the best deal Stampin' Up! has. There's only a few more days left on that. That goes until October 31st. Click the link in the description of this video for more information and to join my team. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.